time for me to go hard as the hood I'm from. DJ Charlie, we the best. I'm going in. I'm going in. If that, first thing you do is you're gonna take your fill valve off. Fill valve's right here, and you're just gonna unscrew it. And once you get a grip on it, it loosens up. It should be tight. Fairly tight, not too tight that you squish the O-ring in here, and I'll show you that in a minute. But you want a big flat head. See how it's, it's slit here and it's slit here? And that's you don't sit on the actual valve in the center with the screwdriver. All you're going to do is push this to the side for now. I want to disassemble the main components of the mag before I do anything. That's how I just like to work, so I can see if I need parts for anything. Then you're going to take a nail punch. Now this is for KJ Work M9 mags. I don't know about KWAs. I've never taken one down. Pop those pins out good. Push them far as far as it's going to take it through. Okay, in my case, it hit my desk early. Then, if you still can't reach it, you can do a couple of things here. I like to just take a pair of uh, needle nose pliers from over here. Sorry, I was doing something earlier and I get dust everywhere. I like to take a pair of needle on those flyers and I just like to grab the pin and pull them out. They're not in there too tight. They're compression pins so they're decently deep in there. And then all you do is this hole just slightly wiggles out. And that's it. And then you have an O-ring right here. And this is well lubed so I don't think it's this. I think it's my fill valve. Anyway, we'll leave that there. This o ring's new, so it can't be this o ring. And the last thing we're going to check is my um, upper lip. Now, I'll show you what I mean by upper lip real quick. If I can find a small L and wrench, punch it out, which I just did. It's just one pin right here. You pop them out pop it out and your feeding lips will come off your spring will slide out and you'll have full notice to the top of your valve top of your discharge valve I know for a fact that this discharge valve is not broken so I'm not going to go into that plus I'm not too great with them I've, I've broken them so I'm not going to mess with them today don't feel like buying a new one Okay, now that your mag is broken down almost completely, you're going to start assessing. Move your tools back into a workable space where you can grab and go when you need them. Now you're going to start assessing the situation. We know that there's no crack in the magazine shelf, so it's not that. We know these compression pins are still good. So we know it's not that. We'll push them aside. We know this O-ring, since it's not hard, it's still stretchy, and it's well lubricated, it's not leaking. The bottom plate is not cracked, and it's fairly well lubricated around the sides, which leads me to believe it's either my fill valve, which this O-ring is good and it's the right size, and it's well lubricated, so it's not that I think it's the fill valve itself that's bad which could be so we'll leave that over here the spring has nothing to do with the function that has not that pin that holds the speeding loops has nothing to do with the function this has to do with the function once it's in the gun and this looks perfectly fine so I'm gonna have to say it's my fill valve and I will show you how to reassemble and re replace your fill valve right now. I do it for the hood, cause the hood told me I should. And you the hood, and you going Alright guys, now that I've gotten all my new parts and materials for this, I'm going to show you how reassembly is going to work. Okay, um, you're going to need four basic tools. A nail punch of some sort, I just have a Stanley, I like it. Um, they're cheap, affordable, and they do the job. 
an arrow and screwdriver, this thing's got all sorts of one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six different heads and it works great for aerosol uses because they got all sorts of ones. You need a pair of needles, five, they're optional. You're gonna need a pair of you're gonna need a mini fill set screwdriver, I'll get to that in a minute. And some aerosol lube, just because you got the mega part, you might as well lube up. Um, in my case, I'm going to need a new fill valve, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. Alright, we'll start with the bottom of my mag, butt plate. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take this o-ring, you hit a little bit of lube, just a hair, so saw how much I, I just barely squirted it. I'm just going to rub it all on that lube, get it really nice and soaked. The green gas will lube it up a little bit, but it's better to lube with some silicone while it's out. And then you're going to just take your spring, slide it right into its hole, its spring guide, push down. That's, there's a nub down here, right there on that mag, the spring sits behind that, and push in, and you'll hear it click into place. Now this is the hardest part for me, some people might find it easy, I find it a pain in the ass. You take your pin, and you're just going to tap it, and it's a pain to get them to sit right, because they don't go in straight, because of the mag wants to push away their pain. Now I find it easiest, if you put one in on one side, and another on the other side, it kind of helps to even it out, but it's still hard. So I'm going to do this. Your top, I guess we can work from the top in it, yes now. And then I'll talk about the fill valve, since that's the important thing. You put that gasket in, like that actually. You want to lube the sides real quick, just the, just the sides, because the inside gets hit with green gas. So just the sides, that was a little bit much. Just, just a, loop, a quick lube. Not much is re recommended. Now, if you just sit that in there like that, as soon as you put the feeding lips on, it'll kind of seat itself with a little help. Just a little tease. As soon as you get that square through the top, it pretty much sits in. Yeah, see, that's perfect. Then you just take this little pin here and slide it through the hole. And it's got little rivets on it, or not rivets, it's got little rings in it, like a rim shank nail. And then it, then it just kind of taps in. A couple taps, and then it's locked in, your top is done, your mag's almost back together. Now the last thing is that wonderful fill valve that I think is wrong with my valve. So, you're going to take your mag fill valve, which is right here. This is a fill valve, by the way, it's a hole. And then a hole, and then there's a little valve inside. It's a check valve one way. And we have two gaskets. This is the one from the old valve. This is the one that came with the new one. The old valve, the old gasket is smaller, but the inner dimension is smaller. Now if you look at this new one though, it's big, but it should fill the hole better. So we're going to go with the new one. The old one's brand new too, because I thought that was a problem, but it wasn't. We're basically going to hit a little loop in our hand. That was a lot. These keys, just kind of rub it around in that little lube in your hand, and it'll lube it up great for you. You push your gasket like that, and push it down, rub it, o rub it over the threads like so, and it should look like that when you're done. Now, there's a hole here with threads, and you just drop that in. It'll hit down, you'll feel it click in, right? Take a flathead screwdriver, put it on here. This is a new fill valve, by the way. It's from my old, it's from another mag that the base plate broke, and the fill valve had been replaced on it. And you just tighten it, just almost tight, almost as tight as it'll go. Then you take your gas, make sure it's completely full. And if you listen, no leak.
You can't stop this! Fuck the best we won this game!